Hi guys, I'm Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com. And today I wanna to chat with you a little bit about inviting. So that can be inviting um, as a customer or inviting to join your team. There's all different ways that you can invite people. The number one thing I would say that you don't want to do is just outwardly say to someone, hey, do you wanna join my team? Or maybe you wanna buy this, or maybe you wanna buy that, and not get to know them at all. Maybe um, being a customer is the best fit. Maybe joining your team is the best fit. But until you get to know them, you're not gonna be able to know which one is a better fit for this particular person. So I like to form relationships. And form, F-O-R-M, is actually an acronym. And it's sort of a way that you get to know people that you're interested in joining your team or purchasing something from you and seeing if it's the right fit. Because truthfully, if it's not the right fit, you're not gonna be able to get over objections because you're not really gonna have anything to say when they say, oh, this isn't the right fit for me. And you're gonna be like, yeah, I know, I shouldn't have pitched you or whatever. So it's really important to get to know these people first before you invite them. So um, F is family, O is occupation, R is relationships, and then M is where you would convey your message, whatever that message is. I get messages all the time that are clearly copy and pasted with someone's link and, oh, maybe you want to do this or maybe you want to do that. And it's someone I've never spoken to before or it's someone that I'm not even connected with at all. And I know that they're just sending out 100 messages, which is fine, but I'm probably not going to respond to that. And I'm probably not even going to really read the whole message or go to their website because I'm going to be like, this was not meant for me. It was meant for a group of people. So I think that's the first important thing is to really get to know who you're speaking to before you invite them to join you in whatever it is they're going to join you in. And you're going to get objections. That's just the reality of inviting. And it's really important to do it one-on-one. -on -one. Um, when I get objections, I try to use feel, felt, found. So by the time I've invited them, I know something about their family, occupation, relationships, and I've conveyed my message. And if they tell me no because I'm busy or because I'm, you know, not in the best shape of my life and that I want to be in the best shape of my life before I do this or I don't have time, I'm going to say something like, I know how you feel. I felt the same way. And what I found is X, Y, Z because I've already found that common thread. I've already formed a relationship with them and I've already been able to get like a common niche that, that this person and I can relate to. And they know me a little bit to know what I'm telling them is probably the truth. So it's definitely super important to develop these relationships, get to know these people. This is like network marketing is one of the only occupations where you get to pick your coworkers. You pick them by hand which is a huge deal. You know, I work for a very large company um, in my nine to five and I did not get to pick my coworkers. And in this industry, you get to pick who you get to work with. And I personally am picky about who I invite because these are people that I could work with for years to come. And if I have the choice, I'm gonna pick the people that I know that I wanna work with for years to come. So as much as forming the relationship is really good for whoever you're speaking to, it's also really good for you to see if it's the right fit for you um, to invite them into your business to work with them. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, you can check out JillianKaplan.com and you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.